are you guys? Molly from Molly's Artistry. Um, I'm doing a pour tonight that is metallics. So I have metallic copper, metallic bronze. I have emperor's gold, bright gold, black and metallic white. Um, I have three drops of silicone in each color and I'm going to do the same technique that I did the other night. I'm going to see how many cups I actually need. I have two, four, five. I'll see if that is enough. So let me go ahead and turn them over. Oops. And what I'm going to do is pour the ones in the middle. So we'll see what happens. Um, give those a second to fall down out of the cup. Um, I rushed home to do the pour. Um, I have a dinner party to go to tonight, but I had a kind of crazy day and I wanted to get a pour in before I go to this party. So I'm using my pouring medium that I've concocted, that I've mixed together. You can see that on my page, um, my YouTube as well. I have uploaded that video. And these are the similar colors that I used to the tree ring pour that's also on my YouTube channel. So we'll see how the pour goes. So I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna be kind of close to the edge. Okay, and I'll save the rest of that. And let's do the one in the center. Let's see how far these spread out. Okay, colors are a little muddy right now, but we'll see how things go. Ooh, I gotta get on the side to do this one. Okay, I'll pour this one down the middle. Kind of like the design that that makes. It's a little bit different. Kind of like the striping that ends up happening. And I have this extra cup. So I did five. I had this extra cup just in case. Maybe I'll pour a little bit along there. A little bit along there. A little bit right there. I don't like to move these too much. Okay, I think that's enough. Ooh, that's really pretty in that cup. I don't know if you guys can see that in that cup. It's never good enough on the camera. Okay, let me get my, my torch fell earlier. So I've got my torch. Just gonna pop some air bubbles, see if any additional cells come up. love metallics, but sometimes they just sink and nothing really happens to them. I feel like cells want to come up right there, but I can't really tell. white that's here but we'll see as I stretch it out a little bit so we'll go up and down see how that goes I painted the canvas I went ahead and painted the canvas black just so that I ha wouldn't have to worry about any of the sides or anything so help that along right there get that flowing So another thing that I have been, oh, I forgot to put my gloves on. Ha! Another thing, it's all right to get messy, but I always look like I haven't showered in days when I go out to parties or out with my friends after I've done a pour, you know, even though I wash my hands. Um, I want to try to get that over to that side, but I don't want to waste all the paint. Let's see if that's going to flow at all. Oh, I have pretty 
pretty cells here. Ooh, the cells are really nice. I'm gonna go this way just a little bit. I wanna keep my linearity. Is that a word? I don't know. You guys can comment below and let me know. We'll come back this way. And this already was like a stretched out spot right here, but whatever. Things are sticking. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring the paint back to the center. Those cells kind of stretched out a little bit. Now I'm gonna try to get this side down here. I really like all those cells that are over there on that end, so I don't wanna to do too much to them. I like the color that's just pure color that's over here. Go back to the center and let me see if I can get those on this side. I don't wanna drop the whole thing. Come back to center. I've lost my cup, I know. Let's see if I can. Oh, I still got the cup on that side, good. I only lost the cup on this side. Okay. Um, these cells in here are a little muddy. These cells didn't really come out, but this is really beautiful in the center here. I actually really, really like this piece. Um, I kind of feel like I should maybe get a little more paint off because I don't want it to crack and it's really thick, but um, I don't want to lose anything else. Let me wipe this off, see if I can get anything happening right there. Okay. I don't, that's why I paint my canvas because I don't want to worry about it too much because you'll end up ruining a painting just to try to get your sides and ooh, there were some really cool, cool cells forming down here. I might torch this. There were definitely some air bubbles that were in here. Don't know if anything's going to come up up there. too much but I kind of want something going on right there I don't know maybe I should just leave it what do you guys think I don't think anything's gonna happen up there I mean the paint is still flowing mess with it guys I think it's really really pretty this is a 15 by 30 inch canvas so a little bit larger than the ones that I normally do like this the 12 by 24 um, and it's got some really pretty cells in it so they held up pretty well a few of them are a little bit stretched out. Some of them in here are kind of close together. I've got everything on each side covered. All right, I'll take you down and you can look at it. I don't shut the camera off. Okay, there we go.
So there it is from up above. Long one, but it's really, really pretty. I'll post a picture of it from above in a little bit. I'll go like this. All right, you guys. See you later.